In the last week and a half, the John Jay girls soccer team's conditioning and stamina was put to the test with tough games against Arlington, Somers, Monroe Woodbury, John Jay Cross River, and now Ketchum. So it was a little understandable that the girls were tired. But championship teams always find a way, and Jay did just that. John Jay and the Home Whites shooting well outside the 18 and hoping for something to happen. Rachel Fricker tries to chip one. And then later on, Aaron Thyler loads up. But that one is just a can of corn. No punch, no spark. And you can tell Jay is playing tired. Meanwhile, Ketchum was trying to strike while the iron was hot and had their best chance here. Shannon LaPerch driving downfield, and with Jay's goalie out of the net, it looks tailor-made for Kim Quillis. But she just can't get there, and the game remains tied in the first half. Until Thyler gets the right club and distance on this chip. And just like that, John Jay takes a 1-0 lead that held up through halftime. In the second half, Jay came out quick. 93 seconds in, off the restart by Haley Toma. And the header by Corinne Burns, John Jay takes a two-goal lead, and that's all they would need to put this one to bed. Did someone say bed? Ah, yes, a well-deserved four-day rest until Monday. Then it's back at it at Arlington. I, I just did, couldn't understand. You know, it's Jay Ketchum. As much as we respect them, it's still an inter-district rivalry. Um, the, the passion was not there. The, you know, we weren't working hard. I mean, they were slow. Their legs are tired. Uh, we had a long week last week. This week, uh, you know, you got Ketchum. And uh, it, it, it just our legs are shot right now, and I think just the fact that we could put together that, four, that 40 minutes in the second half really made me pleased. Had a lot of games lately, but then in the second half, we brought our game, and we were able to maintain the 2 nothing lead, and we were focused on pressuring every ball, winning the balls in the air, and just getting it to feet and possessing the game. The pressure that they bring is, is immediate, and uh, decision-making has to be quick. And they're, they're a quality team, just like Arlington, just like Somers. We're in a very tough league. And, um, you know, it, I hope that the level of play that we had here today, trans, you know, takes us over into Suffern when we go to Suffern on Saturday.